I am City Opera House. I came into being on Front Street when Traverse City was incorporated in 1891. Three Traverse City Bohemian brothers-in-law broke ground in the center of town to place me where I serve as a gathering place. My doors first opened in 1891 in downtown Traverse City, but don't call me old. I was the gathering place for the community from day one. In 1897, more seats were added. Somehow, seats for 1,200 people were packed in. Today, there are 680 seats and people come from a much larger circle across Northern Michigan to gather for celebrations, performances, and learning opportunities. 125 years is a long time, but not that long for me. I'm still growing. After a lengthy closing that began in 1940, I was recognized as a National Historic Site in 1972 and was gifted by the Votruba family to the city of Traverse City in 1980. During Michigan week, Mr. Votruba decided to open the building. The first time he had done it in probably, I don't know, six or eight, ten years, and it was just totally full of dust, uh, totally unused, but the best thing that happened was that nobody used it and nobody damaged it, and uh, a lot of the chairs were here. Um, it just needed work and I could see that. Um, we're happy to be here at the Opera House. I mean, this is exciting to get Traverse City back on track with the rest of the nation. Uh, you have a little jewel here. It's sort of like having your own little Statue of Liberty. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, it's our pleasure uh, from the Associates of Huntington National Bank to, to donate the first $10,000 to this project. Several restoration phases were completed in 2005 they came up with this particular ceiling design. These are perforated metal panels that we've attached to, um, to um, a curved ceiling framing system. And the idea behind this is that the sound will get lost through the perforations up in the ceiling, uh, the sound that we want to get lost, and the other sound will bounce around and come back down. A new roof added in 2013, new dressing rooms built in 2015, new restrooms and a meeting room are being added to the balcony level this year. And they tell me that the front entrance canopy will be added soon. I'm as young as ever. Today, I am more vibrant than when I opened in 1891, hosting more than 250 events per year, including guest artist performances from around the world, National Writer Series, Swing Shift in the Stars, Traverse City Film Festival, and many other events, proms, weddings, festivals, business meetings, conferences, and workshops. What I love about the City Opera House is that it serves the same purpose today that it did when it opened its doors 125 years ago. It is truly the community's space. Whether that means to come and enjoy a performing arts piece, uh, to celebrate a marriage, to gather, to fundraise, to talk about a certain topic within the community, that's what this space is here for. So although the city grows and it changes, we have an anchor in the City Opera House in its community space. I serve this community because it values me and invests in me, making me unique among the opera houses built in Michigan around the turn of the last century. Thank you, Northern Michigan. Mm -hmm.